This is the Chester High School Football Homecoming 2017 300 photo video. Yes, Chester played Interboro at the A-Field on October 14th, 2017. And in order to make some organization out of all these photos, we're going to break it down by way of introduction. Then we're going to show you pictures of the old heads, the game, the band, the homecoming king and queen, the cheerleaders, the ladies, the kids, the food, the rest of y'all, a message from the mayor, and then the end. And enjoy the music that I put together for this video. The Chester High School homecoming has become a huge event. If you go across the A-Field on Lamokin Street, where the parking lot is, you'll see a bunch of tents and setups from the various classes where they're serving food, selling stuff, giving away stuff, and just gathering. It's one of the biggest tailgates you'll see at any high school event. So out of respect to our elders, let's first respect the old heads who are in attendance. Now that's Ted Miller. He's not an old head. He's one of my favorite young guys, graphic artist, PR guy, promotion guy. He does it all. Look at that sign in the background. That's the tent for, for the class of from 1971 to 1979, of which I'm in one of those classes, not listed. Now we're talking about digital divide in school and kids not having it or not. Can you tell we didn't even have PCs or PowerPoint? <laughs> that sign, we're going to have to work on that next year. Here's some of the folks that were in school around the time I was going to high school. Oh, look, some actual classmates from the class of 78. Can we slow things down right here? Coach Jamie Wharton, he still holds the record for the 800. Now, wait a minute now. Look at this shirt, the Del Val Cross Country 2016-2017 champions. Yes, Chester has won the championship in cross country both years, of which he is the coach. Congratulations, Jamie. activity going on across the street, it was kind of hard to remember that there was actually a game going on in the A field. I think the crowd was estimated at about 27,000, uh, almost filling up the stands. Ain't that right, ladies? Raise your hand if I'm right. Okay, let's take it on to the field. I mean, this day was truly a party, and then a football game broke out. It was really a good game. Very close game, within eight points pretty much the whole way. Unfortunately, our guys didn't win, but the city won. What a great event. Look at that goal line stand. What do you think happened next? They crushed him. He didn't score. It, at least not on that play. It's still tough to look up in the press box and not see Fred Pickett, but the shoes are being filled by Dave Berman and he's doing a magnificent job. You go, Dave. Oh yeah, and there was a band. No, no, not that band. We're talking the Chester High School marching band was in effect. The old heads came out with the horn section. The young guys with the drums. And you can say, we had a band. We even had a drum major. Maybe he doesn't look like the one from 78, but surely he's the drum major. Obviously, the highlight of a homecoming game is the crowning of the homecoming king and queen. Let's just take a look at some of the participants in this year's contest.
50,000 in attendance stuck around to see the ceremonies and, of course, the paparazzi was in place. And here's our king and queen. I don't know about driving a car on the track, but yay for them. Another big highlight of the Chester homecoming is the cheerleaders. Not those cheerleaders, our cheerleaders. We've got such class when it comes to cheerleaders, but the real class is from the former classes. The alumni cheerleaders, they come back and they put on the show of the day. It used to be just a handful of them, maybe a dozen, not too long ago, but now, but now, these divas come out thick and they come out ready to perform. They get it in. Like I said, it seems that it was only a couple years ago when there was maybe a dozen or two of these ladies who would show up. Now, now, there's like three rows of them and it stretches about 50 yards. I'm not playing. Look at that. All right, we might not have a marching band, but we got a heck of a DJ who keeps things rolling. And across the street where the party was going on, DJ Rebel. I think he started spinning at four in the morning all day long. All right, so to prove chivalry isn't dead, let's see some images of the ladies that show up to homecoming. And I took a lot of pictures of the ladies because ladies, I recognize the effort you put in when you come out to homecoming. Oh yeah, the hair is done. The outfit is on point. The makeup is perfect. You throw on some jewels and you come to have a good time. Guys, we can throw on a t-shirt, pair of jeans, so we'll get to us later. Let's just enjoy the beauty of Chester through our ladies. to slam it.
I had to look twice. I thought she had a pitchfork. Chester High School homecoming is family friendly. Check out the kids in attendance. And we hope you came with an appetite. <laughs> These Chester folks ain't playing when it comes to homecoming. They got the big grill, the little grill, the hibachi, the fryer, the backyard grill. I understand there's 17 miles of aluminum foil consumed during Chester homecoming. They bring out trucks. They, they just come to eat. This vessel could probably go to war. All right, obviously there were some fellows in attendance. Here they are. Some of them are coupled up. And just some of the other random people we saw hanging out at Chester High 2017 Homecoming will be on display for the next few moments. Enjoy. If you see yourself, just say holla. Chester was not missed by the superintendent. 
Dr. Juan Bon was in effect. And the Chester Fire Department hanging out on the truck had probably one of the best views of the day. Now let's be real. We know not everybody in Chester walks a straight line. There's a few very crooked folks out there. And as a result, we have these sad memorials of many that have passed due to senseless violence. While the scant Chester Police Department was over patrolling the Widener homecoming game, we had help from Upland and Chester Township Police. There were no incidents. They had an easy day on the job. It's so great to see our mayor smile. What a tough job he has. We don't always see eye to eye, but he made a point that I share with you that this event is what Chester's all about. Having a good time, coming out, not having any problems. This is what we want people to see about Chester. And mayor, I agree. All we want in Chester is peace. So just like the class of 2018, I'm done too. Thank <laughs> you.